This is uh, Dr. Wang here recording. Welcome to the new semester and welcome to this uh, finance class. The official name of the class is called Financial Management and it teaches us how to manage the firm's cash flows and finances as a core manager and how to organize investment, how to control risk and uh, boost returns as uh, an investor. To get into the class, let's first to go to the syllabus and uh, this is uh, the Blackboard system of ASU and I assume that you are able to uh, get into it and uh, here let me just enter student preview and uh, the first thing you're gonna click is the syllabus and the CV alright so uh, if you click the CV that will be the same as you click here on my web page and that is my resume so I got a, a PhD from a University of Central Florida in finance and I got a master's degree in applied economics from University of North Dakota and this is my first year teaching in Angelo State. Before that I was a tenured associate professor at St. Xavier University in Chicago. In addition to my professorship I was the director of a financial center and a supervisor of a student managed fund. My teaching area includes uh, financial management, of course, uh, international finance, advanced corporate finance, financial models, security analysis, portfolio management, and so on. And I have taught courses at uh, undergrad level, MBA level, and doctoral level. All right, so if we look at uh, this uh, syllabus right here, so first it's gonna tell you about the description of this course. As I mentioned earlier briefly, we have a two part of uh, this class. One is for financial management, assuming you are a manager in a company and you are trying to organize the cash flows and planning for the capital expenditures. So that's one part of the class. And another part of the class is investment. So basically we're going to analyze securities like stocks, like bonds, and how to organize them into a portfolio and how to best diversify our risk through mean variance analysis. The prerequisite courses for this class is Accounting 2301, which is a financial accounting. That's the basic accounting course at ASU. And another is the Management 2331, and that is about using Excel in business environment. And Excel techniques are very important in my class. So here is my contact information, as you have seen in my resume. So this is my office phone number, and that's my email. So feel free to contact me through email as uh, I'm uh, very accessible to emails more than to my office phone. And here is my office uh, location. It's in Rossman uh, 248. And right here, that's my office hour. That's every Monday and Wednesday from 10 a.m. to noon. So that's my physical office hour. So even though this is an online class, you can uh, come to me to come to my office to ask me any questions about uh, the class or any questions about the financial industry, about what you want to do in this industry, if you are interested in pursuing a career in finance. And uh, this is the textbook information. So the name is called Essentials of a Corporate Finance by Ross uh, Westerfield and Jordan, published by McGraw Hill. People may ask me what kind of edition would really matter to the class. Right now, I post it as the 10th edition, and I know there's a newer edition uh, being around and uh, it could cost you more money, but you can mark my words. I don't care about the edition you use. So if you want to save some money by buying an older edition, be my guest. So, and I would be happy to help you save some money. The course materials and those contents do not change much. Just because the textbook edition is updated, you still are learning the same materials. So older edition will definitely be okay. And here are the outcomes of this uh, finance course. So you're gonna, of course, learn some uh, real life skills in your personal finance. For example, if you graduate, you buy a house, you're gonna be dealing with mortgage and you're gonna save for your retirement 
And then even right now, you are dealing with your credit card bills, and the credit card interest could be very high. And there are a lot of uh, uh, cash loan shops in the city of San Angelo, which you can borrow money from. But I recommend against that because the interest is so high. So there are a lot of uh, real life aspects in uh, this class being taught here. And uh, also, of course, you can understand how cash flows are managed in a company and how do you perform the basic accounting procedural to record the cash flows. And uh, you will also learn some analytical skills to be a financial analyst. Uh, you need to uh, gather all the information, the financial information about the firm and try to analyze whether the firm is in good quality or bad quality and then make investment decision. And uh, some firms have their stocks issued in the stock market and we call stocks and bonds this one's securities. So you will be able to analyze the fair value of a security in the capital market. And of course, this course is going to teach you a lot of Excel techniques. As you can see later, I will present you seven Excel projects throughout the semester. And those are your assignments. And the last one is the portfolio management skills on securities analysis, market timing, and diversification. I'm not going to explain too much on this one, but we'll learn that on the way. So my grading skill is a pretty generic, it's a, a very uh, normal. So if you get a 90% or higher, you get an A, 80% uh, to 89%, you get a B, so on and so forth. And it is uh, possible that you can get over 100% because throughout the semester, I would give uh, extra credit opportunities and uh, you can seize the opportunity and earn more points for your total grade. From my past experiences, one or two, maybe up to three people would earn more than 100% in my class. So if you look at the breakdown of uh, your grade structure, how can you get your grade? So you will see that you have a seven Excel projects covering different major topics in the course, and they are worth different points. Some worth 25 points, some worth 10 points, some worth five points. Really depends on the workload required by each of these uh, projects. For example, uh, project one and the project five would be most uh, uh, time demanding. So you would uh, need to uh, spend more time for that, then they will be worth more. And you also have a three assignments allocated throughout the semester. Each is worth 30 points. And you will have a two take-home exams covering different chapters. They each worth 100 points. So in total, you will have a 400 points, okay, based on this structure, plus some extra points that I would assign to you guys. So if you want to calculate your total grade, it's going to be all your earned points added together divided by 400. That's your percentage overall grade. And the course uh, policies are very consistent with the uh, North Vincent College of Business. And you can see the code of ethics and uh, the expectation on academic integrity. Well, this is an online class, so disabilities would be a minor issue. And I know some of you may require um, longer time for taking the exams. It's completely okay. And I know who those students are, so definitely I will accommodate your needs according to university policy. Okay, so right here you have a course outline indicating the chapters and the topics covered throughout the semester. So it is a tentative schedule. So I just give you four major modules. Each module contains three or four weeks for you to study. Let us uh, get back to the course. So everything here will start here, okay? Technically, there is a button called a start here. So click into it and you will see all the chapters are lined up and all the Excel files plus your assignments. Your exams, midterm and final, will be posted as an assignment, just like uh, a seven, one, two, three, or Excel one, two. The first one that is due here is called a Excel project one. 
and uh, you need to click in there and you will see my instruction videos and you will see this uh, assignment item so if you click in there and you will see the due date for it and you will see the points available for you and uh, you will have this uh, uh, Excel file available for you so you're gonna click it and uh, download it and then open it up and then you're gonna work on this Excel file so it is consist of a different spreadsheet but there's no formulas in each of the spreadsheet so for example if I click the number here is a number so there's no formula behind okay but right here uh, and right here so if you look at uh, this uh, financial statements so you will see the next sales that's uh, a number and uh, this is a number and all of these are numbers so what you are required to do is to use the formulas plugged in formulas behind the necessary numbers for example this uh, uh, earning before interest and taxes that could be a formula of sales minus cost goods sold minus depreciation all right so that's uh, how you get the 280 and now you can see the formula is uh, plotted behind the number so that is what required out of you in Excel projects you have a seven of them so all you need to do is to uh, follow the instruction videos so you can see that uh, this is uh, the set of videos for Excel project one so each of them is about uh, from 10 to 20 minutes or so and you can just uh, go over the videos and follow step by step what exactly I did in the video so it is a project require a hundred percent replication there's no need for you to improvise to create to be a problem solver you just follow exactly what I did in the uh, videos so if you look at the requirement of the uh, project so only formulas will earn you the grade so if you just leave the Excel as it was given to you you will get zero so you will earn points by plugging the formulas according to the instruction videos so this is for Excel project 1 and right here you have Excel project 2 and again you're gonna follow exactly what I did in this uh, two videos and you also have Excel project 3 okay the instruction video is uh, there so right now you have been assigned Excel project 1 here and that is uh, due on February the 15th and you also have Excel project 2 assigned to you that is uh, due on February the 28th and uh, you also have assignment one assigned to you that is due on February the 28th as well so these are the works for you for the next one and a half month okay and for your exams is not posted yet but definitely that's gonna be a problem solving questions and that's not a, a replication anymore so if you look at your assignment one that gives you an idea of what problem solving questions would be about so right here you have uh, four questions related to time value of money and it's asking you to solve something so that's a requirement for the class and I will go over them uh, not particularly the homework questions but uh, in the instruction videos so right here you need to think a little bit but definitely you can work in a group of a two students up to two people group for doing this uh, assignments okay so you need to solve for those there's no copycat for you right here if you look at uh, this uh, chapters you just uh, click on the chapter photos uh, folder and then you will see my uh, lecture is posted here and you will have this uh, chapter PowerPoints available to you okay that's for chapter one and uh, that's for chapter two and three they are within the same module because they both are related with financial statements 
Okay, so again, another folder. So you have a chapter PowerPoints compiled together, and you have a instruction video, so on and so forth. Okay, so the best way to study for this is to go over all this uh, chapter PowerPoints and the chapter lectures and uh, do the Excel projects that basically summarize the skills you need for these chapters. Okay, so for the next one and a half month, you have Excel project one and two coming up, and you also need to do assignment one. And then in the middle of March, perhaps after the spring break, we're gonna have your first midterm exam. Okay, so if you have any questions, just feel free to contact me. And uh, I'm looking forward to spend a wonderful semester with you guys.